Okay, I'm going to do a video on um, how to do this uh, metal bucket that I found at Dollar Tree. I did not know that it would work. Uh, it was a test and it worked pretty good. Um, this is a Dollar Tree bucket, like I said. It's four inches. It was white. I noticed there's uh, not intended for food, so good to know. And then right there is where you can see where it's distributed by. I haven't looked that up or anything, but uh, maybe that's some place to find them as well. Um, so, um, tools I use is I just did straight sublimation. Um, I'm using my, excuse my mess, my Epson uh, Eco Tank 4760. I just print out when I'm testing stuff. I just I um, printed this image a bunch of different sizes. So as I find different things to test, I don't have to worry about printing it out. I just have it ready, and hopefully a size fits. Um, so when I did this side, it was with regular copy paper, and you could kind of see it's not as crisp. And I know with um, with sublimation paper, it comes out better. Um, so we're gonna test that too. Um, and so this paper is the text print. Um, it's been working pretty well. I, it's my first time trying this one. This is, uh, I had another, a different paper before. Uh, it worked well too. Um, I can't remember which one it was. Image, something image. Um, and then the ink is Cosmos ink. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to tape, cut one of these images out I'm going to tape it onto here and then I um, am going to try to heat press it on with my mug press, but that's, that doesn't fit perfectly. So uh, I'll have to use some other things as well and we'll see if it works. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Okay. So I have just taped on um, my image to the side of the bucket that I want uh, face down. Um, I did tend to put a lot of tape one because this isn't perfectly round. It's a little cylinderish. So um, I want to make sure that there's no gaps uh, in it. And then also, I when I want to test and peek, I just want to be able to pull one off, but everything else stay in, in place in case I need to press it again. I don't want to, like, ghost it or smear the image. So that's why I have so much heat tape on here. Um, so basically, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do first since it's not hot yet. Um, I take, I have, like, a, this is the only thing I had around, just, you know, an oven mitt or whatever. Um, and I stuck my hand in here like that and then I put it in my mug press as far as I can go but you can see this this won't let it go all the way in so there's this whole section here that is not getting pressed additionally um, since this is angled it doesn't lay perfectly in here so the reason why um, I have my hand in there and I don't just um, put it right here and try to squeeze it a little bit is because of the angle the top part tends to pick up so um, So I leave it as open as possible and then I put my hand inside here And I'm and I'm pushing down pushing downwards so that way it can uh, Touch as much of the heat press as possible see if it's like this it's not gonna be as good So I just like pushing it down as much as I can so I'm gonna do that step first um, and that should get most of the image and then I'll show you what I did for the top part of the image Okay, heat press is ready. I have my heat press set to 385. I believe my heat press runs Hot so that's where I usually do my sublimation. I never do the 400 because they were all coming out brown and burnt um, So for mine, it's 385 um, and I'm gonna do it about a minute Just pushing this side down I'm going to close it a little bit just to keep it a little bit tight on some other ends. And I'm going to hold down the rest. Now, the whole metal gets hot, so uh, be careful. Even the top part will conduct heat. Um, so make sure that that's... Um, that's touching. So I just loosened this a little bit because I noticed when I had it tight, it was making it a little too narrow and it wasn't touching all the way. Um, so beware of that. Yeah, I feel like it's getting hot in there, so you just be careful. I'm, not, I'm barely touching it with my fingers. Um, uh, other suggestion was to use a, 
uh, hat press, which I think might be a good idea. I didn't connect it because it, it picks a, it's a pain in the butt and I wasn't sure how to hold this and hold it down. But I think that if you have a hat press like this, this would work too. It's a little bit too wide for this, so you will have to like um, keep angling it, but I think it would work. So I don't have an actual timer because my phone's being used as a recorder. So I'm just gonna hold it to about as long as I think. And I am actually gonna take my hand out and try to push it down. Ooh, it's hot in there on this back part. Cause I felt like it was uh, kind of a gap back there. So we shall see. Okay, um, I did a little bit longer. I still, for sure the top part I need to use my easy press is what I did last time. Um, but the bottom looks like it might have come through. So I'm gonna take a little peek see. This is really hot, so be careful when you're doing this. And I can see the image there coming through. Oh, sorry, that's the real image. So you can kind of see it there. Um, but the top part, I'm sure, it, it, I didn't get any heat yet, so I'm gonna do the top part with um, my easy my easy press. Okay, so now I'm going to use the Cricut um, Mini Press. And I'm just going to heat it <laughs> on um, on the parts that I feel like didn't show through as much on the back of the paper. I do think that this would work better in the convention of an I don't have one of those or an air fryer. Um, so try it out uh, if you find this bucket or even any metal bucket. It doesn't have to be this particular Dollar Tree one. Um, I think a white little bucket would work. I don't know. That's my guess. Um, so I'm just going to keep doing this until I see her face come through a little bit and then I will uh, peel it off and we'll see what happens. Okay. Okay, so I don't know if you can tell or not in the video, but I can see the picture coming through a little bit more on the sublimation paper. So I think that it might be done. So let's find out what it looks like. And this bucket cools pretty quickly. Yeah, it's already cool enough for me to touch. Can I touch it too, like mm -hmm. you're done in the video? Yeah, yeah. If I can get this off, I'll let you know. <laughs> there we go. Okay, I'm gonna just take off one side first and take a peek. And if it looks like I need some touch up, I'll do that. Come on. Okay. Daddy. Let's see. Looking good. Woohoo. Mom, does that look like me? It does look like you. Okay, quickly, there was a line before on this. Um, apparently, it was just a scuff because they just wiped it off. <laughs> so, um, so, it looks better. Get up close. Again, this is the sublimation side and the regular copy paper side. So, definite difference. So, there she be.